from Joe, from Joe's Nostalgia Overload. Today we're looking at some WWF cards. How did I get these cards? Well, I had an uncle, and he owned a card shop. And while he owned this card shop, I amassed a huge collection of wrestling cards. And I also found out they make cards for like everything. You could get Playboy Bunny cards, Monster Truck cards, and even American Gladiator cards. How did I find this out? Well, in the basement was the inventory to the store. And while I was watching WCW pay-per-views and eating pizza, I thumbed through some Playboy cards. And in the bag, there was also Gladiator and other cards like that. But seriously, Playboy cards? Thanks to the access to trading cards, I've got myself a massive collection of wrestling cards. You want a rare sports card where you can keep the Ken Griffey rookies? I got a Frankie the Parrot card. What? Okay, no words can describe this. None. Jim Neidhart here naming his favorite Green Day song. And this card's going to teach you how to stay in shape in the outback and enjoy proper pinning technique. Here's George the Animal Steel looking me more of very... And I say that because I just assume this is how the internet looks at their keyboards when they comment on Kate Upton. You remember that classic WrestleMania moment when Matilda started talking? No, neither do I. And here's Killer Khan's O face. Look at all these Brooklyn Brawler cards. Unreal. Seriously, nobody needs that many Brooklyn Brawler cards. There are kids in third world countries that don't even have one Brooklyn Brawler card. I think they had to pad out this set, that's why they have all these logo cards. Also, no. Just no, Brutus. You know, my mom's a scrapbooker. I wonder if she wants a Ken Pantera sticker. Hulk Hogan looking like a possum that just woke up. Virgil, and if there's one thing I learned about Virgil, is don't get him started talking about the MMA. Thanks, Cameron Matthew, for that piece of advice. You know why the Mountie would be great at gay dating sites? Because he always gets his man. That is one very happy looking photo. Is it me or does Kurt Henning look pissed to be taking this photo? <laughs> Look at that. I own a Bastion Booger. Two men on a mission cards. Oh, scratch that. I got two Bastion Boogers. And a Ludwig Borga. Mm. Yikes. 1994 was not a kind year to be collecting wrestling cards. Oh, remember these? Remember how you could punch these out on the back of your WWF Bendems? Nash looks happy as hell. What? I got a Lex Express and a Mantar? This motto is grown. Alright, here's something I gotta show you. These are, I guess, WF Attitude cards. Hold on, just to show how much they must hate WCW. A knee smash is worth more than a jackhammer. Yeah! Well, how about some Diva cards? I mean,. At least it didn't get as bad as me owning the Divas DVDs. You know, the ones with the photo shoots. Yeah, crap, I did own those. Alright, who wants their Honky Tonk sticker? Or an NWA Iron Sheik sticker? Crusher in a Crusher? Which probably sold better than Duke the Dumpster in a Dumpster. And did you know Hulk Hogan hates music? Here's proof. He straight KO'd that speaker. And I bet it was probably playing about us, Paul Wall and Brooke Hogan. Oh god, I feel like I can't stop picking on Ed Leslie. But seriously, is this his online dating profile picture? 